Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. This series is really starting to pop off, and I'm super grateful and thankful for everybody. I'm saying this like two weeks in advance of me paying attention to what I'm seeing, so it's probably doing even better by then, so I don't know. Thank you everybody that's been watching this stuff. I really enjoy making it, putting my heart and soul into it. And it really means a lot that everybody is following along and enjoying themselves, so please help yourselves. Help me help you. Comment on these videos if you want to. Liking the videos helps it to get recognized and subscribing obviously shows that the channel is being followed by more of you. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the, belt, the Battle Belt Galaxy for the Mini Planet Mega Run. I have no idea what this is going to be, but it looks kind of spooky. Kind of seems like a nice galaxy to do, maybe on a uh, on a chilly October night. Yes. The Mega Run. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I did not see that. Just kind of ran into that weird shaped Goomba. It's like I was kind of paying attention, but I kind of wasn't. Okay, so apparently, we are being tasked now with murdering everything. This is, uh... Finally, we're able to pursue our calling. Okay. So, if we could get these very fiery Hershey kisses to come over here. Oops! Okay. If you remember, these were the baddies that were in the volcano level of Galaxy 1 that were guarding the star chips. That was not my favorite level. Okay. But I guess today's soup du jour is destroying all the enemies. While we listen to this rockin' tune, this is one of the best songs in the game. Although I do feel like I say that about I'm pretty sure everything. Which... If every song is the best song, is no song the best song? I don't know. I think that in fairness to this incredible game, that it's uh, it's all amazing. And if you don't like it, well, you can get out. I'm not sure why this is kind of the... Oops. Oh, I have to slap his squishy behind. Excuse me, sir. Can I have your behind? Thank you. Beautiful. You have to ask first. Don't forget, everybody. It's important. You can't just go around slapping behind. It's uncouth. That's a good way to wind up on a list. Okay, where's that final blue boy? Ooh, he's a quicken. Look at him, huh? Look at you. You're moving all, all willy-nilly. Quit. Ow. Well, not, not cool. We will jump over you instead. Ooh, you're gonna one-up from taking him out. Nice. That's that's guaranteed as well. Very cool. Ooh, there's a toad in there. Once again, searching for the toad. The toad. Captain Toad. I don't know why I said that. I'm a little perturbed that Captain Toad seems to be constantly either abandoning his crew or they're abandoning him. I'm not entirely sure what the dynamic is going on here, but there's a bit of a disconnect of leadership. And that's got to be fixed. These guys need to start managing up. Okay. Some regular Goombas, finally. Couldn't stand those weird ones. All right. Pipe unlocked. Oh, water, finally. That's just what I wanted to see. Looks like we might need to be collecting some star chips or something in here. Use the headlights on this lamp. Lamp lit shell, which I'm not really sure how that works exactly. Oh, there's no starships. Just murdering ghosts. Murdering ghosts? Not 100% sure how that works, but also not 100% sure how headlights on a... How headlights on a shell works. But I'll allow it, because it's very handy. Very, very handy. Okay. Well, there's a life shroom offering and one up Luma, so maybe something is getting nasty. 
Okay, he was just taking a break. So, maybe let's get off his back, okay? He clearly wasn't doing anything. Oh, there's a coin limo. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to have as many as he wants. How many do you need, bud? Nope. No, absolutely not. Maybe I could find... You finding whatever... Okay, I'm... I was trying to be mean, but... But yeah, he should find his own. His own coins. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Uh, your bootstraps, coin Luma. That's the way of the future? Okay. So we got some Monty Moles here. The mini variety. There was the large one. Large one in Mario Galaxy 1 that was just kind of chilling on his own planet. And then Mario stops by and just starts kind of causing trouble in the neighborhood. Up to no good. Kind of felt a little mean. How do we determine who's right and who's wrong? Okay. So you gotta move, work quickly here. And thankfully though, oops. Oh, it kind of fell into that, convenient. Thankfully though, it's not all the same gravity, so you don't have to worry about only being able to get the one. Okay, um, this galaxy is very weird. Oops. Got stuck on the peanut brittle there. Okay, so we've got to find something that can help us take out these big balls. And I think I know just the trick. If it was green boogers that you were thinking, you are correct. But you gotta be quick. Because these, these chomps are gonna be booger blasting your opportunities. Oh, that would have been cool if I could have made that happen. I split the difference, not cool. But what is cool is you're gonna get plenty of free star bits along the way. I think that's the the last of the bunch. Oops, excuse me. I don't know why they needed to hide this star like that, but to each their own, I suppose. Whoop, got him. Not so bad, right everybody? That was pretty good. We all enjoyed that. I also enjoy, I say this every time, but the ominous wind of that black hole behind us just whirring in the background. Another Comet Medal. We've actually passed up two Coin Lumas in back-to-back -back levels, so... Or, like, back-to-spaced-out back levels. Ooh, a letter for Mario? Okay. The challenge. Race. Race. Showdown at Fleet Glide. Come on, come on. It's on Jibber J. Nope. I'm having a good day. I don't want to do that. You can't make me, game. And then I'm going to try to move from level to level. The game's like, oh, have you tried the level with the Jibber J? How about the Jibber J level? Ooh, could we interest you in some Jibber J? All right. So let's zoom out real quick. We still need to go back and do some more World 5 work. So I'm kind of jumping around here a little bit, having some fun. This looks like a level where I'm going to have to do a bunch of box nonsense. I'm not equipped for that right now. I'm just trying to keep it real. Let's do the... Uh, Alright. Let's do this. Much to my chagrin. Alright, who do we have? Alright, prepare yourselves, everybody. The Squizzard Daredevil Run. It's exactly as horrible as you imagine it is. You betcha. Okay, deep breaths, D-Mike. The D-Mike deep breath is a special breathing technique to facilitate success. It's called... <gasps> panic, 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 panic. Panic, 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 panic. All right, so this fight is essentially the same as the last one with Squizzard. You just can't take a hit. That's the difference. But one thing to be mindful of is that 
There will be moments when Squizzard is going to be uh, having the cannons in that phase. You can take those out. Also, I feel like when he opens his mouth and he takes damage, it kind of sounds like Baloo from uh, Wind Waker, the dragon on Dragon Roost Island. For those of you familiar, missed my opportunity. Very cool. Make sure you take out the urchins occasionally as he throws them because if you don't, this battlefield will get pretty unru- Oh, come on. It'll get pretty unwieldy. Moving a lot is also a good idea. Oh, come on. <laughs> get the H out of here, all right? Get the hullabaloo out of here. All right. Prepare yourselves, everybody. Strap in for this one. Get your get yourself strapped in and strap strap on. Cause we're doing it. One of the things too that's good to do is as you're throwing your balls in Squizzard's mouth, is to move. <laughs> Crazy how that works, but try it. See if you like it. The only problem doing that is moving, it, he'll usually be throwing a, a uh, his ping pong balls at you in the process, so it's a little it's a little tough to make both of those things happen. It's mainly just getting these first two phases out of the way. That can be very tricky. Oh, he is. He's armed and ready. I do believe I can destroy them, though. Which is good. You definitely want to do that. Oh! <laughs> so that's what I was saying. If you take the cannons out, it improves your chances of success. You gotta do that, because if you don't, he'll have free reign to take a pot shot at you. You don't want that. You don't want a shot of pot. You want the whole thing. Alright. And you can stun him too, so at least getting one of... If you can get one of your balls in his mouth, that should be enough to kind of make him uncomfortable and uh, easier to take advantage of, so... Just keep moving. Whoa! But yeah, the key for sure is taking the cannons out. Alright, so he's mad now. It's not... <laughs> trying to take the cannon out. It's not letting me face it. I would like to do so. I'm going to take this one out. Alright, here we go. I don't know how long it's effective to take it out. But I would like it to explode. Nope, stop. There we go, okay. Much better shape. Because he can't shoot the little the little sneaky shots. Alright, so they do come back. I didn't think it was permanent, but I was hoping it would let me have the advantage for more than a second. <laughs> so I did what I said I was going to do, and then I got exploded. So there's that. Alright, hopefully this is the, the final attempt. The first time I did this, on a day that I wasn't expecting to do it, it, uh, it went about as well as you'd expect. Which is perfectly, obviously. Here at D-Mike Plays, we conquer any challenge without any adversity whatsoever. Alright, I could just... The other downside to this fight is that it's kind of tough to get Mario to cooperate sometimes. But this boss fight music is really good. So it makes me feel a little bit less annoyed. Yeah, sometimes if I'm like barely, it's like I'm like tapping the Wiimote like I'm trying to get salt out of a shaker. I'm trying to shake my salt shaker. Shake, 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 shake. And it works really well, and other times it doesn't. So I don't know what the... Okay. Alright, this might do it, guys. No cannon to stop us. We ran into a power-up. Yes! I wish I could use that as a thumbnail, but I already did from the OG Squizzard fight.
to be. Don't you love it? Two stars down. And once again, sinkhole. Very free of sand. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. We have now murdered Squizzard twice, so we won't be seeing him ever again. Boom. Pretty fair amount of Sturbits as well. Always love when it gives you the opportunity to do the prankster comp right after you do a mission. If you're into that, I'm not. I'm a bit of a mixologist. I like to mix it up. Okay, what's next? Boop. I like to use this as a way to check on what I'm doing. We will do one more World 5. And then we will do one more World 6. What do you say, viewers? People are like, no, I don't want to do that. I'm like, well, unfortunately, this is being recorded in the past. Silver Stars pop I don't remember... Is there a... No, you know what? I don't remember what that is off the top of my head, and I don't want to waste anybody's time. Ew, okay. So, let's do... Let's do the Shiver Burn. The Prankster for Shiver Burn. Let's see what this one's all about. This one's at least guaranteed. It is. The Octo Army Icy Rainbow Romp, of course. Oh no. Oh no. Well. Time to get to Moiterin. Here we go. Oh, it's a timed one too. That's not cool. <laughs> okay, game. And they don't even put you on the star. So you gotta kill 30 of these, of these goobers. Oh, there's so many star bits ahead. Oh, look at this. Murder and star bits, combining my two favorite things in one mission, Nintendo. You know me too well. You gotta make sure that you keep refreshing your uh, star power power up, because if you don't, then, you know, it's not gonna work out. Although I feel like I do need to kind of pick up the pace here a little bit. No! <laughs> okay, I picked up my pace a little too much. I need to put my pace back down. But that's kind of rude that it doesn't even start you there, and then it doesn't even put you on the star. Ugh. Well. Kids these days always asking to be put on stars. When I was a kid, we had to make our own stars. Alright. Lesson learned. It's a teachable moment in life. Yeah, there's so many star bits out here. I can't... Surprise the game isn't rapidly slowing down on me. Stop eating so much candy, D Mike. No, I won't. I really kill four of these buffoons. Boom, done, got him. That's a first try. And a beautiful star is our reward. Whee! We'll just gently ice dance into it. As you do when you're successful, you can ice dance whenever you want. You can leave your friends behind. Oh yeah, that was pretty excellent, I think. Wasn't too bad. And we completed the galaxy. We got a lot of star bits today. Probably a good thing that Hungry Luma ate all of our stuff last time. He totally took our stash. All right, back to world six. Boop. All right, what do we want to do? Another melty monster? No. We're gonna do a new one. Let's let's head to the slimy spring. I hate it when people get their slime all over my spring. Okay, the slimy spring galaxy. First star is the deep shell well. But I do love a good rhyme scheme. Sign me up for that. I don't quite understand what these things are. But this looks like we're doing a bit of a race, maybe. We're gonna be a bit of a racist. Let's try it. I respect any and all races. Let's listen to this music for a second. It's more of a soundscape. Alright. Another opportunity to play as Luigi. Why the heck not? 
I've got a feeling by avoiding all of these more difficult stars today, that I'm gonna have to do them all collectively another time. That's called setting yourself up for failure. All right, there's a pipe up here. This looks a little interesting. Boom, boom, ba -doom, boom, ba -doom, boom, 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 boom. Not the fun gambling music though. So it lures me into gambling is fun music and prizes. Always go for the center one. Ooh, look at this. We might as well tic-tac-toe it and bottom left, here we go. Okay, I have no idea if that's what I was supposed to be rewarded with or not, but we are the winner. Okay, there's also keys in this level. Don't mind if I don't. I'm just gonna slip slide away. I'm not sure why that's the <laughs> if that's the sound of sliding down a ramp, what it should be, but you know. Let's go ahead and slide underneath here. Did not sign up to play Minesweeper, so we're going to go ahead and avoid that already. But this mission, I do believe, is one where the dynamic of riding around a shell is a prerequisite. Ooh, there's the comet metal over there. I see it. I'm gonna go ahead and... Ooh, this camera angle is horrific. Wow. But you can... slowly murder these things. These underwater wieners, if you want to, if you're into that. But there are sea urchins to avoid. and I'm actually getting kind of low on air, so... We'll need to find a booble. Oh, it's getting kind of, it's getting really bad here. All right, but I do see a coin. Aw, they made a little archway for us. We surrender. Okay. Well, first, why not grab this life and kill this Goomba? We. Murder has never been so fun. All right, what is this trying to tell me before? Okay. It was probably smart of me to look before I went and started gathering all of those sturbits. But these should launch us a, f a fair bit. Whoa, whoa, this is really hard to control. Okay, I, <laughs> I need to really reorient myself. Is this required to do? I don't feel like going back and trying to gather a shell at this point is a recipe for disaster. The turning radius on a shell is not the best. But I do need to grab this bubble. Okay, we're fine. That's a little detour. Taking the scenic route, guys. Get off my back. Totally normal thing to do. I like that sound effect. It's very fun. Okay. Oh. Gotta play some dodge em. Oh, it's not really quick quick anymore. It's less fun. I feel like we're on the verge of success here. And I think you might need this shell to open up this chest. Boom! Oh, it's Captain Toad. Who would have guessed? I totally understand. Wait, can you? Is there good ventilation in there? You're gonna wind up dead someday. It's gonna be another level where we toss a shell to chest and it's gonna be Captain Toad's bones or something. Do mushrooms have bones? <laughs> I feel like the idea of a bony mushroom is kind of a no-go for me. That sounds kind of miserable. Doesn't sound very enjoyable to eat. I would pass. Please do not offer me bony mushrooms, viewers. I will decline every time. Okay, and that, my friends, is the final star of the day. Pretty successful episode, all things considered, I would say. Great, thanks Luigi, couldn't have done it without you. Let's go ahead and deposit our star bits real quick. Ooh, bank toad? Always helping us out with our 401k. 
and that's okay with me. There we go. Man, I don't really know how many more amounts of these I need to get. I don't really remember if there's too many more Hungry Lumas, but that is for another day. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll catch you later. Bye.